Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And on the hill today, Ryan Pepio. Well, it's a three pitch mix in the repertoire for this starter. He's going to have to command all three if he's going to have success on the hill today. Austin Slater stands in, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. And a pitch. Just no, off the not. outside edge. And we're underway. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball, one strike. And strike two. One and two. And the righty deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. A one two. And That's another ball. ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Wouldn't chase that time. Pepio goes six feet, three inches, 215 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. One down, base is empty. That one hammered center field. Siri going back on it. Off the batter's eye and gone. His first homer of the year, and they jump out front. It's 1 0. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Base is empty, one away. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Yo, one. There's a strike, 95 of that one. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And they'll do it again. One out, base is empty, and a run in, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss struck him out. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just Jorge couldn't find a way to put it in play. Soler. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Man, that was pretty gross right there. And That's another ball. ball. 
Two out, space is empty. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball three. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Siri going back on it. And it's off the batter's eye. He'll touch them all. It's their second home run of the inning, and they boost their lead. It's 2-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. Base is empty with two away. Matt Chapman, the next giant to hit. And a foul ball. one it's out of here they go back to back and they tack on to their lead it's three nothing Back-to-back -back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And yeah, that's, no, that's outside. One and oh. Two down, nobody on. Now That's one and one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very here tough right pitch to adjust to. There's a swing and a drive. Siri raging back towards the wall. And brings it in at the wall. Back now in Tampa Bay, and starting in this one, Blake Snell. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist, Singy. The spin rate on the curveball is incredible. Hitters know they're going to see a lot of them today. Stay back, be patient, and hit the ball the other way. Bottom of the first. Here now up for Tampa Bay, right. Yandy Diaz. The designated hitter. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. And now the lefty sliced hard but foul. Oh, and two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding him with fastballs, and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. And now it's Brandon Lau. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Ball. One and one. That's Ball. off the mark, and it's two and one. That one at the knees for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. And Count this is both. inside. One out, base is empty. Ground ball right side. And he grabs it, foul. The lefty fires. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. And that one Both off the inside edge. You walked him. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Nope, that's in. That one inside. And that is ball one. Starts him with a breaking ball, but that's a pitch he's really comfortable hitting. You can't rely on breaking stuff to be automatic out pitches against him. Kicks and deals. And that's a little bit high. Two balls, no strikes. Lau, the base runner at first with one out. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Lau around second, headed for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. Second and third, one gone. Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. First that pitch misses. misses. Blake Snell on the mound today, and everyone knows he's got a great shoe collection, but his trophy cabinet's pretty full as well. He's won multiple Cy Young awards, one in the American League with the Rays, and another in the National League with the Padres. That clips the corner. One, one. Snell won his second Cy Young Award in 2023, the same season he led the majors in walks. That doesn't happen very often, but it wasn't one, the first two, time. Count. Early win did the same thing in 1959 with the Chicago White Sox. Two on, one out. And oh. another ball. Two, two. to the mound. Base hit, one run in already. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Well done, drives in the run. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. 
So digging in, Richie Palacios. Pitch One gets away. Three. But all the runners hold. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Next pitch is outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. side could be two good feed that's one return throw to first got him double play and that'll do it but the RBI single pushes across a run and this is now a three one ball game you're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show Second inning, set to go. Here's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. the pitch that That's misses now one and two one two flew open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive and the no, slider well. just well. misses it's a good take Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Next offering is outside. Outside, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Man at first, Patrick Bailey getting ready to hit. Ball That's one, ball. no strikes. One and out. The pitch just missed. A plate umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, boo, kind of interesting. He's a good, consistent umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really hard to know for sure, but I think that usually it has to do something with where he sets up prior yeah. each pitch. Two one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Top of the zone for a called strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Righty to the plate. Pitch ball. misses. Three balls, two strikes. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Right hander kicks deals. Bailey tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Nick Ahmed here to hit. There's a strike.
And he deals. Ground ball could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. But no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Next is the designated hitter, Austin Slater. Right. And that drops in for a strike. Ball for a strike. And it's 0-2. Good pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Here's the 0-2. Ball one there. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Bounce to the left side, no, and that's, that's foul. just foul. The pitch. Almost Two got two. him. Two on, one out. And downstairs. Oh. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one, and that's two. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Giants three, the Rays one. Second, and now the shortstop, Jose Caballero. A wind in the pitch. And there's a ball. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it goes just foul. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Wouldn't chase that time. Three and one. But why to kick the pitch? Fouls one away, and now three and two. Side and that is ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Austin Shenton in the box lays off for ball one. With the tying run at the plate, bottom half of inning number two. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Left hand batter waits. So now one and two. With two strikes, One, two. may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Now this is in the air down the line. And a foul ball.
Left hand hitter waits. That one down the line, and it's just foul. That was close. Here's a one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And another ball. At the belt and fires. Runner on the goal. And the throw gets away. Lead runner around second. Well, kind of the story of their season so far. Things just not clicking into place. Fundamentals on all sides of the ball are lacking. And it's tough to win games at this level if you're not playing clean baseball as a team. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. That's out number one, and a run comes in to score. Good job right there. Infield playing back. Put the ball on the ground. You get that easy RBI. You brought him in from third. And now it's Jose Siri. Now a pop-up on the infield. Has this one sized up. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Now the catcher up to hit. Ben Wortvet. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Chapman settles under it and makes the catch. That is the inning. No hits, but an error to walk lead to a run. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Giants three, the Rays two. Back here at Tropicana Field, out of the third inning, and digging in for San Francisco, Wilmer Flores. As a batter, he's known for performing better in these night games. He might start two for two in this one. Pepio back to work. Popped up right side. Shenton under this one. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Wade batting with one down, takes the strike. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Pitch misses no, that's there. It. That's the ball. One and two the cow. Really good take, strikes. especially with two strikes. This to third. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants, Jorge Soler. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Outside. And the slider the just misses. Just off the outside edge. And now 2-0. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Just that missed. missed. That's the ball. Wade leads off Three first with one away. 
in for a strike. Now three and one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Righty delivers. Right through there for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Man at first, one away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two away. And here is Matt Chapman. He's already homered here in this one. That one fouled off. Here it comes. Got him. Chapman is gone. One left for San Francisco, but they're up three to two. And we're back. Now it's the DH. Yandi Diaz. The wind of the pitch. Got a good eye there. Next yeah, offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one fouled off. One and two now. Out to short. The throw to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Lau at the plate. He walked and came around to score his first time up. On the ground right side. He steps on the bag. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Harold Ramirez. That yeah. one's in there. And that's strike one. I'm well, impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. That one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. The one, two. That's down and in. And that's in the dirt. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. Caught him looking for the K. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down three to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. As we go to the top of the fourth, here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. And a pitch. Now one nope. miss. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Number 40. Up and loosening in the pen. Davinsky warming up as well. Just off the inside edge. 
Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And oh, another ball. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Ramirez going back to the warning track, makes the catch. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Tyro Estrada to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Strike two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. One down, base is empty. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a one two. And that's too high. Rip towards third. Sends it across the first. And Estrada is out. The catcher, number 14, Patrick Bailey. Here's the catcher, Patrick Bailey. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. This one in the air right field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Of the fourth, and now the third baseman, the Isaac Paredes. The, the lefty fires. Just ball. missed. One ball, no strike. And that's ball. downed it away. Two balls, no strike. And now the lefty. Fly ball down the line. Yastrzemski moving under this one. Makes the catch for the out. The left fielder, number one, Ricky. So up next, Richie Palacios. He hit into a double play his first time up. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball oh, over the shortstop's that. head. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. Falling two behind one. two and one. Holding on to a one run lead. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And that one ripped to left. And foul ball. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right through there, got him. Two gone now. Well, he throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. There's a strike at the knees. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one, one almost one. got him. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Oh, 
Next pitch misses way outside. And that skips into dirt. Two outs. Hit in the air, right field. Yastrzemski makes the grab, and that will end the inning. Offense held in check there. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Giants three, the Rays two. Back now in Tampa Bay, ready now for the fifth inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Nick Ahmed. The pitch. And he pumps it a strike. And the right hander deals. On the ground to short. Fires to first on the run. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Up next to the Back to the top of the lineup, and next is the designated hitter, Austin Slater. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat get that first hit at the big league level. Left field settles under this one, and a couple of quick outs. Now batting the first base. Two outs, base is empty. Wilmer Flores now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in right. and turn this into a pretty good start. No that shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. And yeah. that gets the top of his own first strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Swings and misses, struck him out. Giants down in order, but they still lead it 3 2. Camilo Doval will take over here. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. So digging in, Austin Chittler. He's over one. Here comes a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Oh one. And fouled off. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. Right-handed reliever battling here as he fouls it away. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That one almost got him. And a pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. Rogi just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. 
Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. That one finds the zone. 0 1. Trying to close out a one run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Off the plate, and it's 1 and 1. 1 and 1. Right-hander kicks, deals. Not Ooh, even close there. Ball two. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One down, base is empty. Ball. Ben Workvet waits on deck. Raised down by a run. Last half of inning number five. Got him! Now only one out remaining. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. the ground right side and it finds its way through for a hit so the tying run reaches with two away didn't take long to get a result for that at bat just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield he just kind of rolled over on it a little bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock so the Rays batting order turns over to the plate now for the Rays is the DH Yandi D Slap the other way, foul. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants strand the tying run on base to win it. Snell with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. A 3-2 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shumby saying so long from Tampa Bay.